Here you are, you've beat every mission in Zombies, you've done hundreds of contracts in every tier, you've ran the Dark Aether, you've defeated the Red Worm, you've done all the things, and you're still missing schematics. I'm gonna teach you how to unlock every single schematic at every tier level and every location, where to get them, and how to get them. Check it out. When it comes to schematics in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, there are three different ways to unlock schematics. The first way is to complete contracts in Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3. The next is to complete story missions in different acts to get the reward of a schematic. The last way is to run in-game areas, such as completing contracts in the Elder Sigil Dark Aether and defeating the Red Worm will unlock more schematics. So we're going to start first and foremost with what is found in tier one contracts. Now I say tier one contracts because these schematics can only be unlocked from doing tier one contracts. If you're doing tier two or tier three, no matter how many times you run those, these schematics will never unlock for you. They have to be tier one contracts. And they go like this. The first schematic that is unlocked from doing tier one contracts is Deadshot Daiquiri. And then you have the Speed Cola recipe which is the most valuable perk in the game, dividing your reload time in half and your armor plating in half. And then you have Stamina Up Recipe, also a very, very useful perk. For ammo mods in Tier 1, you unlock Brain Rot Ammo Mod and you unlock Napalm Burst Ammo Mod as well. So all those are unlocked solely in Tier 1. So if you're one of those people that is a super sweat and went straight to tier three and just started grinding contracts and you've done hundreds and hundreds of contracts. That's great because you'll unlock the tier three ones, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You'll never unlock tier one or tier two contract schematics by doing tier three. So now for tier two contracts, you have your first exciting one when you get it. You're like, oh my goodness, I remember getting this one personally. It was amazing. And that is the raw Ethereum crystal schematic. You can now craft Pack-A-Punch one and come into the round already having a Pack-A-Punch level one gun which is a great start when you got nothing. For tier two, you get the Juggernog recipe, PhD flopper, which is extremely helpful if you're using the new crossbow with the explosive bolts. I would argue the best gun in the game. Check out my video on that. It's freaking amazing. Absolute boss shredder. You get the PhD flopper recipe, and then for ammo mines, you get both dead wire, which I think is the worst, and you get shatter blast, which is very, very good. So those are all of the ones that you unlock specifically for tier two contracts. Honestly, I think the tier one might be as good, if not a little better than tier two, because that speed cola and stamina up and brain rot, those are all items that you use regularly, even later in the dark ether using sigils or the elder sigils or the red worm, like there's stuff you actually use all the time where the other tier two stuff, not as much, still good, still worth getting. just. Not as great. Jumping into tier three contracts is where things get exciting. In tier three contracts, you unlock the epic ether tool, which is three times the damage of a gray rarity gun from the start once again, and it multiplies by pack a punch. If you wanna learn more about that, check out my video on that. I break all the numbers down, not only of what each rarity does to each gun, but what pack a punch does to damage in each gun and how they affect each other. I get really nerdy and break it down. So if you're into that kind of thing, Click the link. Then you get the refined Ethereum crystal. Now you're coming in with Pack-A-Punch level two, which I remember was an absolute game changer when I could do that. For tier three perks, you're getting Elemental Pop, which is a lot of fun and effective, and you're getting Tombstone. Tombstone is a very valuable insurance perk, but if you're like me and probably 50% of the zombies community, you use it for other things. If you want to learn what those other things are and how to make Tombstone the absolute best perk in the game by uh, exploiting some stuff, check out my video here, an exhaustive guide to Tombstones and everything you can do with it. Also join our Discord down below, a bunch of help in running Tombstones as well as finding amazing people to squat up with in Zombies. And then you get the ever famous Ray Gun schematic unlocked by Tier 3 Contracts. Now I got extremely lucky on this one. I believe it was my third tier three contract I ever completed dropped a ray gun schematic, which I was flipping out. Because if you don't know, all of these, like I mentioned earlier, are based solely on a low percent chance of them dropping if you complete a contract. I don't know what that exact percent is. If you do know that percent, you're like a data miner or something, comment down below. I'd love to get an actual number on that and I'd be happy to credit you. Now, side note. Unfortunately, the ray gun sucks on this zombie. If you do the pack-a-punch level four, 
glitch on the ray gun, it then gets decent to where you can actually use it effectively in tier three. But without that exploit, it doesn't really work. If you want to learn more about that exploit and how to do it, you can also watch my video on that. That'll be out real soon, but you can check the link once it's up. That is everything that is unlocked from doing contracts in different tiers. Now we're jumping to the next type of unlock that is completing certain missions in different acts. Now the first mission that gives you an actual schematic is Saboteur, and that will give you the Uncommon Ether Tool. When you finish the Extractor contract while doing this mission, it will reward you with an Uncommon Ether Tool plan. Exfil, keep it, right? So that's your first one, Act 1, Tier 3, Saboteur. Next schematic you unlock in Act 1 is Quick Revive, and that is under the mission Chaperone in Tier 5 of Act 1. When you complete this contract while having this mission active, you get the Quick Revive recipe, exfil with it, unlock it for good. Now jumping into Act 2, Tier 2, there's a mission called Safe Cracker. When you complete a raid weapon stash contract with this mission active, it will drop the Cryo Freeze formula, and you will unlock it. And then later on in Act 2, Tier 5, you come to Exterminator to complete a Spore Contract that will drop the rare Ether Tool schematic. Those are both schematics you unlock for doing Act 2 missions. Jumping into Act 3 missions, you have two-factor authentication from Tier 1, and that is to complete a Defend Ground Station contract, do a couple of things, you will then unlock the Death Perception recipe. And finally, in Act 3, Tier 4, if you complete an Outlast contract, you get the Wonderwolf DG2 plans unlocked. Now this is a fantastic wonder weapon for crowd control. Don't sleep on it. And once you get it to pack a punch two or three, it absolutely slays. That's all the schematics that are unlocked from doing acts. Now the three classified schematics are unlocked by running through act four and then completing the Easter egg. So go into bad signal, defeat the worm, get the gold diary, unlock all the gold items. If you don't know what I'm talking about, or you don't know how to do that, you can check out my video up here. I do a full guide of how to run that solo. This unlocks the big portal on the south side of the tier three island. And as you complete contracts in the dark ether rift with the first sigil, you'll unlock elder sigils. When you complete those three contracts in the Elder Sigil Dark Ether area, you're guaranteed to get either the Golden Armor Plate schematics, Dogbone schematics, or Ether Blade schematics every time you complete one of those contracts. If you complete all three in one time, you will get every single schematic. They are guaranteed drops. If you just complete two of them, you'll get two of those three, but it will change which ones drop. So just complete all three of them with the squad. If you have a squad, it's not hard. Again, watch my video. I did it all solo. It's very, very possible. If you got a squad and you're kitted well, it's easy to do. But that'll unlock the classified schematics, which I would argue that the golden armor plate is probably in the top three items in the game. And the last, but certainly not least, way to unlock contracts is to defeat the red worm storm boss. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's amazing. It's a giant Easter egg leading to the hardest boss in the game currently. You can watch my video up here. We did it with the whole squad and we show how to do it, how to get the four USB sticks, how to prep for the worm, how to actually fight the worm. It's a really, really fun battle. I'm still trying to beat it solo and I keep failing. I will beat it solo soon, but it is very difficult solo. But when you defeat the worm, you're guaranteed one of three schematics. The first is the legendary ether tool schematic, which is the best schematic in the game. Four times the weapon damage, it multiplies with your Pack-A-Punch, and you cannot buy this with Essence. Unlike Pack-A-Punch, if you have 30,000 Essence, you can Pack-A-Punch any gun to three. You have to find these in the game or craft them. The Worm will either drop the Legendary Ether Tool, the Flawless Ethereum Crystal, also incredible, or the ever-coveted Scorcher Plan. I love this gun. Its damage is good. It's not a very offensive weapon, but it is... So fantastic for mobility, and I think that was a great addition to an open world zombies game. To have a wonder weapon that you can basically fly around with, it's fantastic. Now keep in mind that when you defeat the red worm, you often will get different schematics dropped in the same round. So unlike contracts, one person may get a scorcher schematic, the other person may get a legendary ether tool schematic. Make sure to ask what they got. They might have one that you need, they can pass to you and you can exfil with it and be good to go. That is how and where to find every single schematic in Modern Warfare Zombies. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to share it with a friend that needs this information. And as always, I will see you live on YouTube.